So yeah, I'm just joining the M1 now. Um, 14.33 the time, which is much, much, much later than I really want to be getting going. Still a good dumping of white stuff about up here. This A66 only reopened about three o'clock this afternoon. It's uh, 20 past five now, so hopefully get yeah, a good run at it. But I won't be uh, showing too much of the footage because the sun will just be pointing back at the camera. I've not stopped starting filming it either, by the way. Obviously, when, when I do it as the video that goes on YouTube, it's just the continuous recording and I crop it into bits to stitch it together. Right, morning all. It's eight o'clock. I'm in the village of Douglas in South Lanarkshire. After I've just had a brilliant night's sleep at my mate Damien in his uh, place he's got up here. Just on my way at, let's see if I can get through this, actually looks a little bit tight. So right now, I'm gonna be heading up the motorway soon, because this is only five minutes from from the motorway. Douglas is only five minutes off the motorway, should I say. Uh, Not going that way, youth. Too tight down them streets. Going out on the main roads. So yeah, we're just carrying on upside of Loch Lomond. Just gone by Tarbert Hotel. Roads seem pretty decent today. No problems at all. Touch wood. Right, I'm just coming into Tyndrum or Tindrum. I did a chat with a woman when we came up over Christmas and I said Tyndrum and she had a little laugh about it. She said Tindrum. But she weren't a local, she was from Peterborough, so I've always called it Tyndrum, or if it's Tindrum. Let me know in the comments below what you think is the Green Welly. Right, just left Tyndrum, Tindrum, whatever. Feels like you're really heading into Highlands now. Mountains about. There's uh, still a few that's got some snow on the top, like that one there in the distance. A lot of them uh, are baked in sunshine now at the moment. It's been known some years that they've had snow on the mountain tops well into May and early June. Yeah, just entering Argyle and Butte, approaching Rannoch Moor. As I say, it's a Saturday morning, the roads have been really quiet. I expected a lot more traffic up this way than, there, than I've seen. Starting to give me North Coast 500 vibes to get up there because how quiet it would be there. Be, uh, be uh, really, really, uh, really peaceful. I mean, when we did the North Coast 500, it was August Bank Holiday 2021, and we had um, we had spells where we were 20, 25 minutes where we didn't even see a vehicle coming the opposite way. Nothing behind us, nothing in front. So it just shows you how quiet it is up that part, part of um, the UK. Right, just coming up to the lookout point. This is usually a bit busier actually, because we're not far from Glencoe. I might get the drone up. Well, I'm up at Loch Tula lookout point on the A82 near Rannoch Moor. My journey is usually a hell of a lot quicker than it has been because I'm obviously stopping and starting with filming, pulling in at laybys. But yeah, I'm just checking out the area before heading on further down into Glencoe. But I just wanted to stop for a minute just to show you show you the scenery. To say it's quite sunny. It's still cool. I reckon it's only about two or three degrees. But we'll head on further down into the Conar and um, 
possibly going up another little trail that I know of. I've not actually done it, but I've pulled up near it a few times. I've done two or three of the mountains in the area. Bukhail, Ateev Moor, um, Bidian, Nambian. Uh, forgot what the other one's called. It's about eight, nine years ago. That's the mountain on the left that I climbed. I had a quick look, it was in 2014. Bukhail, Ateev Moor. To say it was quiet further down the road, it's looking a lot busier around here now, but it will be on a Saturday morning. You know, uh, I mean, I've, it's took me hours obviously to get here, but there's people that live a, a lot close. I mean, you can be in Glasgow, hour and a half. I'm between the mountain resort and the Three Sisters out there. Um, mountain range is just down down that way so before I just head up here just have a quick look it's busy most of the lay by been pretty poor I've managed to wang it in there for a few minutes just while we have a quick look around this part in fact there's a sign here with a load of stickers on so let's see what this sign says more than likely just public footwear Glenative by Larig. Can't tell what that says. Somewhere five mile away. Yeah, just taking it all in really. This lay-by that's coming up on the left, we stayed in this in June 2021 on his way to Sky. Did the run all the way up from from Knox like and pulled in there. We had the night there. I think we got there about nine o'clock. And we was gone early next morning. I think we was on our way for about half five, quarter to six. We got to the site at Sky for about half ten. Steady ride up after we've been to McDonald's as well. I was actually after getting parked up at a spot back there. It's like a, uh, I think it's meeting of three waters, unless I'm getting mixed up. I'll try and flash it up on the screen if I have got mixed up, but it's like a, um, like little pool things that people get in for a swim. There's one of the vloggers that do it now, this bloke and his missus, Gemma and some, I forgot what, what the names are. There's Jimmy Savile's old place. Right, there's the three sisters, mountain range. In between there's the Lost Valley slash Hidden Valley. It's another one that people have got a debate about what it's called. Right, so I'm just going to be pulling up in a minute. I don't know whether to go back up the road and check that out, but I'm going to pull in here for a minute or two anyway. That's if I can park, it looks packed again. It's going to be better around here in the week. In fact, no, I'm gonna leave it. I can pull in there. I'm gonna be up here for a few days, so check that out. Let's go further down, down through the valley. This on my right is the Anak Eguk Ridge. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, it's a serious undertaking, especially in winter. It's, uh, the summit on it it's just like real narrow I think about only about a metre wide in some places it's just like a sheer drop I mean, I'm just coming towards the end of it I'll possibly catch it on the way back up the film is not too great at the moment facing the sun so right 
time to pick up some supplies. Right, got a couple of bags of food and some water come to just under 16 quid which from the co-op's not too bad I suppose the water £1.50 but I did need another water butt so it will come in boots on let's get up there I think it's an easy one to be honest with you it's right near the road but done a fair bit of travelling picked up some bits as well from the shop so time's going on a little bit but stretch the legs for an hour let's see what's what up there still plenty of ice about though so it shows you how cold it is down here somebody in this red car they've got a drone up i was going to show you the temperature but i've just had this out of the van it's definitely not late 20s like it's showing on there that's how warm I've had it in the van. It's probably why I feel so cool when I've come out. But let's go over the road anyway. Yeah, I was just talking to the couple that's in that red car. He got his drone up. It seemed all right. Guy, to be fair. He was whizzing it about everywhere. Up on the top. I think they've just got it back in there. But, yeah, I'm just going to have get up onto the trail I mean that's all I stuck down there and at the side of it Zoom in. yeah that's all that's all I stuck right let's get away from this road anyway spent enough time on roads last two days Well, we've got away from the road, you can still hear it, but started making my way up the side of this hill. Still quite icy. I'm actually on my way back down now. Walked for about just over an hour. I'm having a recording nightmare. My batteries are low. So I'm gonna get down, down to the van, get them charged up. See what's what later, but got a little bit of drone footage. Right, I've managed to charge up these devices, so just gonna have a little scoot up here, see what's what. It's the first time I've been up this. It's a pretty um, prominent path. I don't know if it stays this prominent all the way over. Temperatures drop really cool at the moment though. I think there could be some snow tonight. In fact, it's looking a bit grey and mysterious over there.
Right, well, I've just been talking to this guy. He was on his way down. And uh, he was telling me about the, the top. Our, uh, it's not very good visibility. As it is starting to get quite cloudy now. And looking at the time, with it being 10 to 6, yeah, because we've only got about another 20 minutes of daylight. Now, I only come to have a little look how far it was, but I kept walking 10 minutes, and then 10 more minutes, and then 10 more minutes. And I've been going now, I'd say a good half an hour or so, and if it's gonna be dark in about 20 minutes time, I'm probably gonna be getting back to the van when it's dark anyway. So, I'm just gonna get up to this cairn, and uh, I might come up a bit early tomorrow morning. The parking was terrible. Um, I only pulled in on the way back to make sure this was the start of it. And uh, it's still, still full down there. And I was just going to have a little walk, for a little walk, it's turned into a longer walk especially when I've already walked earlier on. We're getting quite high now. But yeah, you can just take it all in. I'm not sure how windy it'll sound for you. I'll try and turn it down if it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to this little cairn. Right, well I'm back down here now. Time is 16 minutes past six. Most people's gone. A couple of cars, but it was packed earlier. Yes, it's on West Island Way. I'd have probably made it to the top. Well, I would have made it to the top. What I mean is, I'd have made it to the top, and I think it had just probably been getting dark. But then it had been more or less all the way back down in the dark. I've not even got my proper hiking gear on, really. I've got the boots. I've not put my trousers on, that are good, warm, fleece-lined, and shower-proof. I've not worn my proper waterproof jacket. Uh, I just, like I said, I popped up for a, for a bit of a scoot up it, like. So, I'm still heading back to the van. Yeah, that lay-by was full. Well, I was gonna park up down here for the night, but I'm not sure if there's another one here. I could always get next to him. Let's see. I don't think the car gonna be blocking the gate. There's another van parked up here, but he's in a passing place. It's when the parking passing places, that's when it gets locals back up, you know what I mean? They're there for people to pass. It's like me just parking on this one here now on the left. I don't think you feel comfortable as well if someone goes, goes by. I mean, this is a dead end road anyway, so no one's really going to be coming down here, especially this time of night now. Half six, just about in the dark. I was in two minds whether to stay at the mountain resort, but I had a shower late last night. I was gonna skip one today and then go to the mountain resort or somewhere else and pay for one tomorrow. Obviously when I'm at home, I shower daily, but here, I'll have a wash, boil up the water, got wet wipes, can freshen up, but Obviously, you shower daily when you're at home. But right, I'm gonna have a look at another place. Right, well, this is where I'm stopping. Glenative, a few flicks of snow about, sleep. There's another van here, I think there's a couple in that. Yeah, I've uh, put it on here. I'm about to get the leveling chops under it. 
slightly slight but yeah I've got them on I'll also stick it in gear as well well I've just put something easy on for tonight I'm not messing about it's nearly eight o'clock now so I've just put stewed steak I've got crusty batter and I'm gonna butter up I've got uh, what are they croissant chocolate croissants um, some other bits and bobs as well them randies and I've also got them pancakes so I'm just going to uh, cook some up easy have me drink and chill out yeah it's starting to settle down here this side's sheltered because obviously I'm near the tree can you hear that river next to it Well, I've had my food, and I've had my pudding, and I've had my cup of tea. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm feeling proper whacked. I've had a couple of good days of travelling, and then them two walks today that, although they weren't overly big, they were still, you know, enough. Well, anyway, I said I was going to show you inside the van. Um, I was going to do it in the morning, actually, but I thought, well, with the conditions out there, I want to be going out in it sooner rather than later. So I'll give you a quick run through now. Um, right, let's put you a bit more lighting on because the light that's on now is just the lighting that's on the um, recording device. Right, so as you can see, that's much brighter. So I'll pick it up and just show you what's what. So, got a couple of spotlights there. They're alright for reading. Them too. I will turn them off soon though because I've turned all the lights on. It's pretty bright. So, um, right, yeah, anyway. It's so up there. My hiking tackle. Bits and bobs. My clothes is in that little case pillar um, the reason the clothes are in the case is because I've got other bits and bobs in it at the moment in these cupboards some of my food uh, that table lifts out and then the bed folds together making one large bed roughly the size of like a double bed nearly at home in your house Yeah, we've got the lights in the ceiling. Uh, you can see through to the front from there. If you go through there, but you're not going to see anything tonight because it's pitch black out there. Um, yeah, the cupboards. What have we got in here? A couple of cookers, water, kettle, pans, uh, like a little sink drainer board type thing I would never use it it's all right if you're going on a campsite and you need uh, need to use the facilities uh, what else is the well these are there's all the electric sides one for the stereo which is that that works separately to the van main lights that's the two in the ceiling they're the spotlights which I am going to turn off because they absolutely cane the voltage um, carbon monoxide alarm so when I'm cooking I know if I'm in any danger it also gives you the temperature of what it is in the room which at the moment is 20 degrees which considering it's about naught or minus one outside and it was sleeting quite heavily earlier um, what else is there? There's the toilet, but I don't normally bring that with me to be honest with you. But because I'm being off grid, I thought I'd best have it with me. Usually use site facilities. Uh, yeah, in the cupboards, I've got you know other bits and bobs, some food, cupboard stuff in there. There's more food in that one where the toilet is, but I'll lift the toilet out of the way in the morning, put it outside. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. Oh, the main thing in winter, nearly forgot. You can probably hear it. So there, 
that's where the heat in the van is coming out of you hear it there so that's underneath there also underneath is just plenty of space for storage just put bags bits and bobs there's my up lead for when i'm away a couple of my rucksacks with hats and gloves and scarves various bits and bobs another day sack uh inflatable pillar but i've also got another pillar from the house i brought that with me um that unit here is for the diesel eater that one so you turn it up on that and you let it kick in the hottest i've ever had it in here was 32 degrees which was far too hot so i'm gonna uh relax a bit now because it's going on anyway so i'll um get washed up, get changed out of these clothes. Uh, I'm gonna go and get the bed sorted out, get in my sleeping bag, chill out for half an hour, then it'll be time for bed, and we'll uh, catch you in the morning then. So that's the first day done anyway, well the first day up here done. So see you in the morning. <laughs> 